I brought this Clinton and Cesarani practical cookery 11th edition book in 2009 and when I start my culinary journey. It has been so useful, it has almost all the basic French recipes. We came here to watch cooking videos, not to know about your cookbook. Hmm? Alright, alright, I thought it might help someone. If you are planning to buy a cookbook, this is the one you should go for. Clinton and Cesarani, Practical Cookery. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys how to break down the biggest pasta deal in Italian cuisine. The biggest one. <laughs> how we gonna do this? We gonna boil the pasta while pasta boiling. Saute the bacon or guanciale, which is the chick, cured chick of the pig. Um, that is very traditional recipe. If you can find it, is so rare to find. It is so rare, it's, it's gonna be so difficult to find if you wanna find. Of course, unless you are Italian. But um, you can also use bacon, which is pretty similar, but that's not gonna be the traditional recipe. Anyway, boil the pasta and uh, saute the bacon or guanciale, like I mentioned, on slow fire. And then remove the excess fat, mix one egg and one egg yolk with some uh, picorino cheese or parmesan cheese grated and then it's all about controlling time and the temperature so you have to control the time and temperature unless you wanna end up with scrambled egg <laughs> let's go and make pasta carbonara Saute bacon on lowest heat till they get golden brown along with the crushed garlic clove. Cook pasta in salted boiling water, 1 minute less than package instructions in order to achieve al dente. Wipe off half of the bacon fat before you add pasta. Reserve some of this starchy pasta water for sauce. Later we're gonna use that. Here comes the bonus tip. We have very hot boiled pasta just removed from the water and also bacon on the hot pan as well as egg with cheese mixture on the side. So what you're gonna do, this is very crucial. You have to wait at least 4-5 minutes before you add all these ingredients together. So unless you Unless you want to end up with a scrambled egg, you have to wait. I highly suggest you wait and then you add uh, all these ingredients together along with some uh, reserved pasta water. As soon as you add, mix all these together well. So egg will help to, egg will, egg will almost act like a thickening agent of the sauce and also for the flavors. That is the only reason egg in this recipe. And also I have to make a confession, I did not find any guanciale which is pork chick, pork cured chick um, or any bacon where I currently live so I had to use veal bacon I did not use any pork products in this recipe but um, if you can find gunchale or any bacon that will be the perfect traditional recipe back to it
even though it looks simple it is very difficult to master it but this is gonna be a big but hmm? if you manage to master it trust me you will be able to cook any pasta you will be master of cooking pasta if you manage to do it Aha! wow it's so delicious so creamy creamy there is no cream but it's so creamy creaminess from parmesan and egg most importantly we don't have a scrambled egg over here so delicious spot on anyway that's it in this one hope you had a lot of fun watching this silky smooth delicious italian pasta experience and uh, if you did enjoy you know the deal like comment share subscribe or whatever as long as you stay healthy safe and foolish keep cooking guys i'll see you in the next one in the meantime take care bye bye peace